Well, every year during the second week of April, telecommunications personnel are honored. Those are the folks that dedicate their lives serving the public. Our photojournalist Leah Rodriguez followed two Lubbock police dispatchers and shows us a day in their lives. 911, what's your emergency? James Quijada, I'm a communications supervisor. I started when I was 18, I graduated May of 2011. I started July 2011, so this July I'll be here 10 years. A dispatcher dispatches calls, we do everything. We answer if there's a pothole, you know, we answer if your grandma died, we answer if you just got into a car accident. Once, the call, once we pick up the call, we generate what's called a call sheet. Call sheet goes into the system and it goes right to a dispatcher. Depending on what side of the city it's on, that dispatcher will look at it and say, okay, this, depending on the priority of the call, is this an immediate thing or is this something I need to look at, make sure everything's correct, and then wait until I have an officer available. Maybe immediate, maybe two hours from now. My name is Jessica Ramos. I am a communication supervisor for Evening Shift. I have been a dispatcher since March of 2011. Um, I did leave briefly for a year, so my seniority is a little messed up. I, I like to say I've been here 10 years, but minus a year um, because I did leave. But that absence made me realize that this is where I'm supposed to be. And so when I came back, it just felt like coming back home. I didn't feel like I had to relearn the whole job or learn how to retake a call. It's just something that was instilled in me. And I don't feel like even if I left this place, I would ever forget how to answer a 911 call. My shift probably takes a good I don't know, two to 3,000 calls a day, maybe. As dispatchers, I feel like we have pretty wild imaginations because of the things that we hear. So sometimes we put our own ending on things and it's not always right. Um, I think that's more of a comfort thing for us to try to work through the call and get your mind off of it and just kind of hope that there was a happy ending and move on to the next one. It is often a thankless job. Um, nobody gets into this, you know, for praise or for worship from people. Um, you get into this because you want to help and oftentimes, we're forgotten about just because, you know, nobody sees us. We're that invisible person, um, but we talk to people and we have to try our best to calm them down or, you know, just stay on the phone with them until officers get there. And that's why I do this. That's why I've been here for 10 years. You know, this job, like Jessica said, it's thankless. You know, I, d I don't come here to get a paycheck. I don't come here so I can go see my doctor every month. You know, I come here because I love what I do. I love helping people and I love being the first responder on the phone, not the first on scene, you know, the first responder. I'm glad I get to pick up that phone every day.